The World Health Organization says the HIV-AIDS mortality rate is on the decline. Here in St. Lucia, the National AIDS Program Secretariat is reporting a decrease in the number of people dying from the disease and an improvement in the quality of life as well as life expectancy. Executive Director Niam Jabaptis credits access to powerful antiretroviral drugs and aggressive prevention campaigns that advocate testing and safe sex for the downward trend. We have very, very few persons dying from, from, from AIDS since we introduced the antiretroviral um, therapy. Now, we have to, to try to maintain these levels for, for several reasons. First of all, if we stop the antiretroviral ter therapy, then we may be introducing um, a, a more resistant strain of the epidemic. The fact that we have been treating persons with the antiretroviral drugs, the virus itself is, is changing. Jabaptiste concedes a sustained campaign is required to keep a lid on a number of new cases. It says the Secretariat remains proactive and is continuing its work with high-risk groups and all segments of the population. People living with HIV-AIDS are also on the front lines of the prevention campaign. We keep on working with the persons living with HIV and AIDS, apart from educating them on, having, how, on, on how to, to remain, um, to, to have protective sex. Also, uh, we also we have also involved them in the response. Have have them working um, uh, in, as as in the national response. Have employed them in the national response, and so um, we have to continue to 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 work with them so that they would be, be able to give us a lot more ideas with respect to responding to the epidemic effectively. Jabaptis just returned from a regional meeting of national AIDS programs in the Caribbean called the Knowledge Forum, where participants discussed lessons learned and best practices and exchange notes. St. Lucia is in the process of tweaking plans to extend its five-year World Bank-funded HIV strategic program due to expire at the end of this year. This, the next few months we'll be, we'll be doing just that so that we will be, ab we'll be able to respond effectively to the epidemic for the next five years. Despite the declining cases, regional HIV-AIDS programs are reporting a greater prevalence among emerging groups like crack cocaine drug users. According to the WHO, an estimated 33.4 million people worldwide are infected with HIV, an increase from 33 million in 2007 because fewer people are dying from HIV. In sub-Saharan Africa, there were 400,000 fewer infections in 2008. In the Caribbean, 12,000 people died from AIDS last year. Of the 756 reported cases of HIV-AIDS in St. Lucia since 1985, 448 of the victims are still alive. Winston Springer Jr., HDS News, Channel 4.